Okay. Okay. Thanks. You bet, Chris. Thank you. It was our book as a message to him. Mm. Elvis, stop. Mm. Just stop. Sonne West, venn og bodyguard til Elvis gjennom en årrekke. Jeg hadde gleden av å møte ham da han gjestet Oslo i mai 2011. I over to timer fortalte Sonny om sin tid sammen med rockens konge. Hele intervjuet leser du i Flemming Star. Her er et lite utdrag. Well, Mr. West, first of all, I would like to thank you for taking your time to talk to us about your friend Elvis Presley. We were very happy to have you here, and we sure hope you have a great time in Norway. Thank you very much. I've, I've already had a wonderful time just arriving here. And I've met you and, of course, some other people here, and I'm looking forward to meeting with the fans over this here and hearing their questions and their comments because every country that I've gone to, there's it's just amazing the questions that they have and, and everything, you know, that I heard this, I've wondered about it for 25 years, can you please tell me? And then when I answered, they said, thank you, you know. You know, for a guy who was three years old when Elvis died, it sure is uh, kind of unreal sitting here with one of the Memphis Mafia. You know, there's so many questions, so little time, but I hope you can help us to get to know Elvis a little bit better. Uh, and let's start with the crazy story of the king meeting the president. Well, you and Jerry and Elvis, of course, ended up in the Oval Office of uh, the White House, and your voice might very well be on the uh, secret taping system yeah, that the sure president had. If we could listen to that right now, what would we hear? Well, you'd hear that uh, when Elvis met the president, uh, you would hear his voice, uh, the president say to him, because Elvis had on this fur suit with a cape and and all this jewelry and that big gold belt from the hotel and a, uh, a cane with fancy gold handle and the glasses and everything. And he looked at him, the president's conservative suit and tie. And he looks at him and he said, you dress kind of wild, don't you, son? And Elvis says, Mr. President, you, sh you got your show to run and I got mine. So we got there, Secret Service opened the door, and there's Elvis in the middle of the room, of the Oval Office. Now, this is the Oval Office that you've heard about. It's the President's personal office. It's famous, and I'm getting ready to walk in it, like, just walk in it. I couldn't. I just stepped inside and went to the right. There was a chair there, and I just stepped in front and moved it over, and Jerry followed me. He, he, he took my cue, man. He went same exact way, yeah. So then <clears throat> Elvis says, come on in, guys. And then he looks over, and Mr. the president, we saw him over there at the desk. He's writing something down, sitting down. And uh, he said, Mr. President, here's those guys I want you to meet. He's calling out the president, like, the president, oh, okay. And he puts his pen down, he gets up, <laughs> comes around, and uh, shakes hands. And then, well, hi, nice to meet you, Mr. President. Fine, how are you, sir? And uh, he's looking at us, and he says, he reaches over, and he takes his hand, and he goes, on my shoulder, he said, you you're a couple of big guys, you know. Uh, he said, you, you take pretty good care of him, do you? And, and Elvis, yes, sir, they do. They do, Mr. President. And he said, that's good. Yeah, they look like they could. He said, I, I got something for you fellas. He goes over to his desk, opens his drawer, takes out a couple of gifts, comes over, gives me one, and Jerry, we thank him. And they, what they were were the 14 karat gold key chain, chains with the presidential seal hanging from them. You know, I've, I've never used it. I've still got it put away, a safety deposit box. So uh, Elvis looked at him and said, Mr. President, they got wives too. <laughs> and the president comes back and gives us presents for our wives. And uh, we thank him again. He says, you're welcome. We turn around and look, and Elvis is over there going through the president's drawer with his fingers. And the uh, president looks and he smiles. He said, uh, you see anything that you like, Elvis? And he said, yes, sir, you got some pretty good things here. Starts putting some things in his pocket, and the president said, well, go ahead and help yourself. He said, there's plenty more where that came from. He said, but what you're actually looking for is not in that, bo in that drawer, I don't believe. He said, uh, but I've arranged for that. I've instructed Deputy Director John Finlater to give you a U.S. agent's badge, and I hope that you use it well. And, uh, and Elvis said, yes, sir. And he closed that drawer and was coming around. And he had his hand out, like shake his hand, and then he changed his mind and he hugged the president. And the president wasn't expecting it, so his arms were locked to his side. And Elvis was hugging him like this here, and the president kind of stiffened up, you know? <laughs> and then he kind of smiled. He this is Elvis Presley, 
from the South, they hug, they're, they're friendly people down there. So he just smiled and said, okay. So then I will step back, Mr. President, I'll, I will, I will, I will use it well.